what is up you guys welcome back to another video as you can see I am finally back and let's just say I much would have rather be here making videos with Duncan but anyways I'm back and we've got a super awesome video for you guys yeah kind of I, a special one really yeah it's kind of out of nowhere Duncan ended up making a sweet deal uh, not gonna tell you a whole lot because you just have to watch and so, see. We're taking an item and trading it for another item and stuff. Yes, exactly. Um, Hopefully they can't see it on the trailer. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Let's just show them. Let's just show All them. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see that back there. We've got a company logo and stuff on the back. But as you can see, hopefully it is the motorcycle. So my 1985 VT700 that I'm turning into a bobber is going to be leaving the channel. Um, <laughs> so I've been working on it and by the time you guys see this video you'll have seen part 4 I believe of the bobber build. Um, but right now I don't even have that video edited so we're future, I don't know, future past yeah. ever. It's hard to keep track. But anyway. Um, I was getting the bike really close to riding and have a bunch of footage I was going to turn into a video and a vehicle popped up on Facebook and I messaged the kid and he wanted to trade for a motorcycle. I was like, hey, I've got a project bike and he was like, does it run and ride? And I was like, almost. Like, if it runs and rides, I'll trade it. And I was like, crap, this is a good deal. So I spent the last couple of nights slamming the bike together. It's nowhere near finished. He knows it's not finished. And uh, yeah, we're gonna take it about an hour away to Georgia. And we're gonna do the old swaparoo. We'll show you guys what we got. But right now we're gonna run and grab some fuel. I'm gonna grab some food and some caffeine for my headache. And we're gonna hit the road. Alrighty guys, it is the next day. We went to pick up the car in Georgia last night and it was like 30 minutes past where the guy said it was and it was like in the boonies. We went down a dirt trail and it was dark so we didn't record. But uh, on the ad on Facebook, the pictures were of the car in a shop. And when we got there, it was in the woods underneath some trees. So we're gonna show you the car. We're super excited. We've wanted one of these for a really long time. So we're gonna show you guys the car and then we're gonna pull it off the trailer and give it a wash. So let's get with it. Dude, I'm so excited about it because we've been talking about this for so freaking long. And I know you've you've had a couple of shots at a, a few of them, but this one, honestly, super clean, which we'll go over what's wrong with it in a bit. But let's give this thing a wash, dude, because it's it's freaking dirty. Heck yeah, we're so. losing light, so let's do it. Thinking about all the things we did tonight. What a time to be alive. Just you and I. Just you and I. To leave, then I'm gonna be alright. As long as you tell me that we ain't running out of time. Thinking about all the things we did tonight. What a time to be alive. Just you and I. Just you and I.
Alrighty guys, as you can tell, it is the next day. We ran out of light yesterday, but we gave the Miata a wash and did a little further inspection. Stay tuned for the next video where we're gonna dig in and see what we need to start this car. So we hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget, stay hungry, stay humble, stay motivated, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!